Max East 2014. Yes, Second Opinion Productions, day two. I'm here with a very tall gentleman that is able to assist me. Uh, what is your name? I'm Eric Lundquist. And what do you do? Cameraman. Cameraman. Cameraman extraordinaire. Cameraman, videographer, editor, all the above. Give me one game that you're very excited to see. Very excited to see Harlan Miami too. Big oh. fan. Super stoked to see them. YouTube. Who do you watch on YouTube? Who do I watch on YouTube? Good luck, Riley. Oh, that's so sweet. But uh, yeah, we're waiting in line. We're waiting for a couple of people in the group. So uh, hopefully they uh, they will get here. It's just about time. It's about two minutes. No, three. Three minutes before they actually open up the situation, and we're still in the line before the line. So. But we will get there eventually. Good luck, Riley here for Second Opinion Productions, and I have Tommy from Team Meat. Exciting, exciting to meet you. How are you this morning? Pretty good. Good. I'm glad. Uh, I didn't see you yesterday for some reason. Maybe I was just skimming by, going around to different stuff. I was stuff. here in the beginning of the day because yeah. I was still working on the build. But, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Cool. I was here after two or after one, I believe. You being so successful with it, to me, it's just it, it's great to see that, and it's just such a great way to see a lot of people getting up there and stuff. So, and I originally and getting on Xbox and, yeah, and yeah. just everything. So, yeah, your your plights, <laughs> oh, man. You guys, were, we are rooting for you exactly. We, we suffer for everyone. We're like sure. Jesus. Oh, I, great, that's gonna get up on Reddit. No, 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 not at all, not at all. <laughs> but I have two questions for you that I've been asking a lot of uh, popular people around here as far as like, you know, uh, YouTube personalities or small indie developers or you like yourself. Okay. Uh, first question is, when you're not here, when you're actually not taking a break, what's one game here that you uh, actually really want to check out? That's a good question. Um, I actually don't know what's here. Um, Haven't been able to have time to walk really. around. Um, you're, you're being a good programmer. You're, you're making sure that everything is running properly. Well, honestly, yeah. Like I haven't, uh, I haven't had a break in like two months. So uh, the only game I currently want to play is uh, Metal Gear Five, the uh, Ground Zeroes. That's the only one I want to play. Uh, I've, right been, now. I've been able to. I got a, a copy of that. And I haven't been able to play that. I, I cannot wait for Phantom Pain oh, to get in there because it just. I love the fact that they were trying to scoot it in there. Kojima was trying to sneak it in there yeah. as like a fake game. Yeah, yeah. But then you know, being able to get on there. But uh, if you you get a chance and you're not busy at all, uh, I definitely recommend A Hat in Time over there in the Indie booth by okay. Gears for Breakfast. Um, it, it's kind of like Banjo-Kazooie, Super Mario. It's kind of like a female Wind Waker. Same art style. A lot of fun. They're doing a, like a co-op thing over there. So. Okay. And uh, the second question is, um, when you're not busy at home and stuff like that and you want to pass the time, a lot of people go on YouTube, subscribe to people, watch people, a lot of videos. Well, what's one person that you've seen on the YouTube, like, are you a fan of? Um, as far as YouTube, I don't really watch many people on YouTube. I watch people on Twitch, though. Okay, no, that's perfect because um, I know that I interviewed Man vs. Game yesterday, and yeah, he's I very. Oh, I, I love, love him. Oh my God, he was he stepped out of the VIP area to actually answer some of my questions over at the Twitch. Booth, so yeah. I was so happy, and he told me that like since he's not on YouTube, mm -hmm. he he primarily like what people on Twitch you watch. Like I I personally watch him, um, um, Lethal Frag. Yeah, Lethal Frag. Um, yeah, yeah, video games. Uh, Video game's awesome. I know Fraser Agar's yeah. around here, so like, what's another one that we haven't mentioned? Well, I um, I tend to watch speedrunners a lot. Like, I, I really love speedrunners. Uh, Cosmo, he runs uh, Wind Waker and Ocarina of Time. I, I love watching those, and it's great just when you're working. Like on certain things, when you're working, you can have nice background noise, and Zelda sounds are like really great background noise. So uh, there's him. Uh, Joshi Muzz or Muns or something. He runs uh, GTA San Andreas, nice. and like I, I don't know. It's just something about it. It's just like great background noise. It was a really good charity event that were going for speed runs, and the coolest speed run I ever saw was two guys. I don't know how they did it, but they split the Super uh, the Nintendo 64 controller into one. One was controlling the movement, the other one was controlling the guns. Was that SGDQ this year? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. They did it in 24 minutes. They beat the entire game, and they're literally like. Finish the level, boom, we got it, yes, move on to the next one. <laughs> but literally one guy in there like, if you point down and you run, it keeps the frame rate down and it allows the video game to run so much faster. Oh yeah, there's there's so many, so many like weird exploits that they do like, uh, 
the, the, the community surrounding these games is just like incredible to me. Like the, the exploits that they find and like the little loopholes to like skip missions or skip this cutscene or something like that. I, yeah, I, I really like they, it. They know the game backwards and forwards and oh, stuff yeah. and be able to apply that and fill it like for Extra Life or another charity and yeah. stuff that people watch. It's like, why not? It's like because you want to see them do that and stuff and they have a great organization that's just set up or something like that. Yeah. Did you see the guys doing um, blind uh, punch out, the super punch out runs? No, I haven't. No. Incredible. <laughs> like the, the one guy got to Tyson and, and punch out and he said Tyson's almost impossible to beat because he's like all random. Um, the other guy actually beat super punch out all the way through blindfolded. It was so insane. It was. Wasn't amazing. there like a trick with like Mike Tyson's eyes if he blank yeah, blinked? Like yeah. Winked, but uh, there's like certain. He was explaining it because they know the games like backwards and forwards. He's like, there's a certain amount of timing that's like random in between them. So like, it's it's not like you can actually telegraph or actually know in your head the pattern because it's like slightly off here and there. Awesome. It's so insane. Yeah, I, I really get a kick out of watching that kind oh, of stuff. Oh, it, it, like it's so funny because I in the last couple of years I just got really involved in that because yeah. we we. We stream on our page when we try to do like, you know, it was a good steady schedule about like six days a week and stuff where I was doing a lot of indie games. Uh, one one game that I, I was able to do and I got to meet the creators finally was Jazz Punk. Okay. I, I loved it. That game was so much fun. It's like, you know, and it was made by two guys. Yeah. One programmer and one guy who made all the music on his synthesizers. That's pretty so, great. Very cool. Well, uh, thank you very much. No problem. It, it was a pleasure. <laughs> so go team me. Thank you very much. Excellent.